We are trying to protect your lives. We are telling you there's a danger there. For you, you are insisting you must go where there's a danger. Yes, we, be, we shall beat you for your own sake. Those were remarks of the Inspector General of Police, Martin Zokoth Ochola, during a joint security news conference on the status of security in the country and how they intend to secure the election which is five days away. In December, NTV reporter Ali Mivle, who was covering no presidential candidate Robert Chagulany, was hit by a tear gas canister as police tried to disperse Chagulany's supporters. NBS reporter Daniel Rutaya and Ghetto TV journalist Ashraf Kasiri were also attacked in the process. He had that launcher, uh, the tear gas launcher, so he held it and then pointed at me. It hit me straight here and he said I was collateral damage, so he hit me here um, right on the thigh. I can't say that it was a stray canister. He targeted, he targeted me directly because you can't tell me move and then um, uh, you, you shout, shout collateral damage and then you shoot me and you say that you didn't intend. Mivle was able to identify the officer who fired a canister at him, but up to date, police have not taken action against him. On Friday, the IGP made it clear that police will beat journalists if they feel it is justified. For my case, where I was, it wasn't dangerous. And when you look at the footage, it was the police that was around me, the field force unit. So if that's the way they are protecting journalists, then I'm afraid it's going to be damn dangerous to be a journalist in the next days. Abu Bekal Boa is a daily monitor photographer who has covered many protests around the country. When the lenses point uh, at something, it means that there is something that they are picking. So if police says don't go beyond this point, it means they are stopping the lenses from picking. According to Human Rights Network for Journalists Uganda, such statements could instill fear among journalists, yet they play a cardinal role of informing the public about matters that affect their lives. We are likely to see now journalists acting under fear and some of them keeping away from reporting uh, presidential candidates or political opponents, political candidates within the opposition. And we are also likely to see now little information uh, trickling through to the wider public. Reuters photographer James Akena was beaten during a protest in Kampala in 2018. The perpetrators have never been penalized despite the available footage. All these incidents are being documented. And uh, at an appropriate time, action will be taken. And action is not limited to the fact that the Editors Guild may have to uh, support individual journalists. There is a worry that junior police officers will completely block journalists from covering any crackdown on opposition following their boss's statement. So what needs to be done? And they should move in bigger groups now. They should always ensure that they have... Uh, uh, press jackets and they are covered with armored jackets if they can at all times because they are faced with imminent danger stemming from the security forces and also they should keep a sizable distance uh, between themselves and the security forces but they should also maintain some uh, plausible distance between themselves and the candidates they cover so as not to be seen as overly embedded. The editors guild will seek to take on uh, the leadership of the police and uh, also the other security agencies, first of all through dialogue because we have not had a meeting with them. The Human Rights Network for Journalists is calling upon editors and media owners to come up with a strong statement against the remarks made by the Inspector General of Police. With a few days to the polls, that is on the 14th of January 2021, the security of journalists remains fluid and although it is said that there is no story equivalent to your life. The media practitioners have been reminded that the entire public, no matter the prevailing situation, they will depend on them for credible information. Sidil Yarhanga, NTV.